Now then sports fans, so I've been working on making some bullets, I'm going to be working on ELR designs but also hunting designs and we've got our first ones to try and shoot. Now I'm going to be shooting my 7mm Rem Mag because 7mm bullets are right in the middle of the sort of calibre bracket where you can take what you learn from this design work and then move it into other calibres, so down into 6mm up into 7.62 type 30 calibre stuff. So we've never shot them before, so it's quite exciting, maybe a little bit nervous but we just need to put them on paper, catch some of the bullets so we can check the bearing surface on the projectiles and then do just take a little look and see how they did. So let's get some shooting done. Now unfortunately the shooting bench that we'd normally use it's been destroyed. Slight agricultural accident so we'll be shooting off the bonnet of the vehicle so don't expect amazing accuracy we're just gonna have a go and see what we can do. I'm gonna go live Steve. Another bullet. What? We need to go and look at it. Where did it go? Well, either I'm the luckiest shot in the history of shooting, or these are really bloody good. Okay, so the aim of today is just to catch the bullets, make sure they shoot okay, make sure they feel nice and smooth. It's not about accuracy or any of that jazz. But we've had our first shot. It's in the black of a cold barrel off the bonnet of a vehicle, about 100 metres, and uh, I'm not going to complain with that. Now we've got some big bits of uh, logs cut and behind it just to catch the bullet when it goes through, so that when we split these logs, we can pick up the bullet and then do a bit of an inspection. Now I don't need to shoot any more bullets today. I've definitely caught one in that log that I can recover. But just to make sure we do get one, and just for consistency, I'll fire another couple of shots and then we'll go and get one of these bullets recovered. I'm quite pleased with that. Didn't blow the gun up. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, on we go. And it's windy. Off the bonnet. Right, good life, Steve. I'm sure they all hit the target, but we're off a bonnet, it's windy, it's not the comf most comfortable platform, but it'll do. We've got our bullets hopefully caught in the wood, and uh, we'll go and get them dug out and then see how they look. So fingers crossed everything's good. But they felt nice, they shot well, so hopefully everything's good to go for the next batch. Right, cracking on. Well that's us just starting to pack up for the day, but those three shots weren't awful. I mean, they're not perfect but they're pretty good. And the last shot I sort of aimed a little bit uh, higher and a little bit right and I got lucky and got a, a dead center. So I'm really pleased with that, but I'm looking forward to getting these bullets dug out. So uh, <laughs> that's the next step. So let's go. Well, with a bit of luck, we're gonna dig a bullet out of this big log. No guarantees, but I'll give it a go. Not got the best of axes, so we'll just have to There we go. <laughs> well, here's one of them. Looking good, so I'll need to dig it out. Wow. I 
Look at this. Now that's pretty beautiful. Really, really nice. So she's almost still perfect like she could be fired again, but we did fire into wood to, to catch the bullet. And you can certainly see the rifling marks on the bullet. And it looks like the pressure relieving grooves have done their job really well. And uh, we've got a nice smooth run down that bore. That's pretty cool. Well, the sun's shining and it's turned out to be a pretty good day. Those bullets shot really well based on a sort of guess load that I was hoping was going to work well and not blow my rifle up. And it didn't, so happy days. But the blank of that bullet is going to be used to produce two hunting designs of bullet. One's going to be a true expanding bullet that opens up with petals like you'd expect from premium brands and the other one's going to be a rather frangible bullet designed to shatter an impact and create huge amounts of damage. So it's a bit like a VMAX in lead free. But we've got a bit of testing to do, we've got some products to get out, get back and make sure they do what they're supposed to do and we've also got something a lot larger to play with. So we've got a 50 cal BMG to play with. So if you want to see some of that stuff and see how this testing goes then do stick with me folks. But if you want to see more, like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for joining me folks. See you all again soon.